Now, this aspect, we'll be looking at some questions. Different questions on trigonometry. Differentiation. And integration. Now, different questions. Now, we'll be... We'll be Bringing the question out, then we are going to be using the calculator to solve it, most especially on these three major topics. Now, there are some cases in which you'll be given CBT questions. Now, how are you going to use the calculator to solve most of these CBT questions? Now, watch out. The question says, the first question says, if Y... Is equals to log root of 1 plus x base exponential find the y dx. Now, option A. You have 1 over 2 into brackets 1 plus x squared. Option B. 1 over 2 into brackets 1 plus x. Option C. You have 1 over 2 is bracket 1 plus x squared. Option D. 1 over 2. Sorry. This one, there is minus here. Yeah? There is minus. 1 minus x squared. I have 1 over 2 into bracket 1 minus x. Now, how will you find the differentiation of this? Now, the first thing is that you differentiate the question. So let us see. You press shift this. Press the differentiation. Now, you press, we are to differentiate the log. You have the exponential here. This is exponential. And you come to this place, we have root of 1 plus x. Then you come to where you have your table here, your x here. Now, if you want to press your value of x here, I would suggest you use 0 0.5. So use x to be 0 0.5. The reason is because, number one, of the square root, number two, of exponential. Though if you use two, you may get the answer, but don't just fix it. Whenever you see the square root of anything of x, just use it to be 0 0.5. Now press equals two. Now if you observe this, the answer to this, the answer to the differentiation of this is 0 0.33. 0.33. Now, can you see? Now, you not press this. You save 0 0.5. Shift this. With X. Now, as we save it to be X like this. Press this. Then we now press the option. The one that is equal to this 0 0.33 is the answer. The first option. 1 over 2. Then into bracket. 1 plus alpha X square. Close bracket. It's not a magic. Don't forget. We've already saved 0 0.5 as X. So you don't need to be save, you don't need to be pressing a uh, one over two into bracket one plus zero point five square no because that's the essence of we saving. The press equals to express in decimal. Then can you see that this one is zero point four? Let's go for option B. As we have one, then over we have two into bracket one plus alpha x close bracket. Then we have this. Can you see this one is what zero point three three? So this is zero point three three. Now let us see the one that is, let us go for the third and the fourth option so you know that this method is sure and very much correct. You have two, then to bracket, one minus alpha x, all square, then that is it. Now can you see, if you're expressing, sorry, your previous value, this is it. So can you see, express, that's, this one is 0 0.6, 0 0.67, so it's not equal. So the option D, we have one over two, into bracket 1 minus alpha x close bracket can see that this one is 1 so the correct answer is option b so which is 0 0.33 so that is how to do the differentiation now let's go for another question the question says so this one is under differentiation number two the question says if sine x plus 30 is equal to cos 40 we are asked to find x. If sine 
X plus 30, so that is in degree, degree, is equal to cos 40, find X. Option A, you have 60. Option B, you have 30. Option C, you have 10. Option D, you have 20. Now, if this is equal, now how will you find the X here? So just press sign, the press your alpha X plus the 30. Now, what you are going to do is that you now make, you now press alpha and the close bracket, alpha and the button under the alpha, alpha and the button under the alpha, then press the right side. Right side is cos 40. Can you see? What I press is that I only change this equals to, to dots like this. So if you can see, this is what I press. Sign x plus 30, then alpha and the alpha and the button on that alpha will give you this dot then cos 40 now this method you have it like this sign x plus 30 then this dot then you have cos 40 this is what you have on your calculator now the thing is that this method you are to check the answer you are going to input here now make your right left side to be cos the right side let us go there press calculate when press calculate go for option a Option A is 60, press equals to. You could see that it's only give you what? Left side, which is this. And the left side, when you use 60, the left side value is what? Is 1. You don't have to press equals to again. Can I see the right side? Right side is 0 0.766. Now that one, can you see that the left side is not equal to the right side? So we have to go for another option, which is you press calculate. Option B, which is 30, press equals to. Can you see that our left side is. Express in decimal, when you use 30, we have left side to be 0 0.666. And 0 0.866, that's left side. Press equals to, your right side is 0 0.766. Can you see that they are not equal? Now, press calculate again. Go for the third option, that's 10. Then press equals to, you have the left side to be, when we use 10, we have it to be 0 0.642. Then press equals to, the right side is still 0 0.766. The press calculate. Let's go for the last option. That's 20 press equals to. Can you see that 20? When we use 20, the value is 0 0.766. The press right side as well. Right side is 0 0.766. So which one makes the left side to be because the right side? That's what. That's option D. So the answer is 20. Now I have different option, different method that I can use for this. But watch me as I still bring up some or more option, more calculator methods to use. That's all. Now. Another question. That's question number three. Now see this type of question. The question says, evaluate this. Now, if you want to evaluate this, you have two methods. But I'm going to use one out of the two methods. The thing is that, as you have the pi here, it is either you press it straight like this. Let me use the two, the two methods. The first method is that you press the value given to you. That is, you press sign. But you are going to change your pi here to be equal to 180. That will be 180 over 3 here. Close bracket. Now, of course, fracture button. That's 180 over 6. Then we have plus cos 180 over 3. Then we have sine. Fracture button, 180 over 6. Press the cost 2. Can you see that the answer is what? Is 1. So the answer is 1. You can either do it like this, or another method says, I'm going to use pi that is here on the calculator. But what I'll firstly do is that I'll press shift mode, then press 4. Take your calculator to radian. So once you take your calculator to radian, then you can now use the pi on the calculator, in which I will have it to be signed. I have the pi over 3, close the bracket, cos, I have the pi over 6, plus, I have cos, I have pi over 3, then sine, I have pi over 6, close the bracket. Can you see, the answer is still equals to 1. So this is how to do it using the calculator method so the next question this is question under trigonometry 
This question is under trigonometry. And the question says, if sine beta is equal to 6 over 10, find the value of 2 tan beta over 1 minus tan square beta. Option A, 3.38. Option B, 3.83. Option C, 3.43. Option D, 3.34. If sine beta is equal to 6 over 10, what is this? What am I going to do is that I'll just say, okay, I'll make this beta dissolving formula. And I will make the beta dissolving formula. I will now see beta, beta will become sine inverse of 6 over 10. That is how to make beta dissolving formula. So now, I'll just press shift sign. Shift sign. Then shift sign of, what's this? Shift sign of 6 over 10. Close the bracket. Then press the cost 2. Now that is the value for what? For beta. Then let me go to the question. I'll now press fracture button. Then 2. Tan of answer. Don't forget that my initial answer is the value for what? For beta, which I got from here. Then come here. I have 1 minus tan. But this one has square. And don't forget, answer is a beta. Close bracket square. That is initial value we got. And press it goes to. The answer is 24 over 7 expressed in decimal, which is 3.43 approximately. That's option C. 3.43. Now the next question. Another question says. Another question says differentiate the function y is equal to into bracket x squared minus 1 raised power 3. Now this one does not have a sign cause it is so we don't need to take calculator to radian. So we set your calculator. So calculator must be in degree if you want to solve this kind of question. Now let us differentiate the question. Press shift and this. The question is into bracket of alpha x square minus 1 close bracket raised to the power of 3. And come here, you can use your x to be 0 0.5 or use it to be 2. So let's use 2. Press equals 2. Can you see that? When we differentiate the question, it gave us 108. Then save your x as what you use. And what we use when we differentiate is 2. So press shift, LCL, and button of x. That's what we use as 2. So uh, that's what we use as x. So that's 2. After that, press AC. Let's press the first option. That's 6 alpha x into the bracket of alpha x square minus 1, close the bracket square, press equals 2. Can you see? The first option gave us 108. That is the answer. If you don't, if you don't uh, trust this method, then you can try the other option. I'm very sure none of these options will give you 108 that is equivalent to the differentiation of the question. And that is why option A is the correct answer. I move to the next question. Now, another question says we should integrate x lin x. And don't forget, the, the method behind integration is that you are going to insert in the question and at the same time, you now differentiate the words, the options. So let us insert for the question. For the question, don't forget, you firstly save your x as 2, shift out here. So once you save your x as 2, so just press the question as you are given without pressing the integration because this one is indefinite. Assuming it is definite integration, we just use the integration sign here. But this is indefinite. So just press the question, which is alpha x, then lean alpha x, close the bracket. Press the question. The answer is 1.38629 etc. Now, we don't have to press AC. You just differentiate each option one after the other. Option A, we have 1 over 2. Then we have alpha x square lean alpha x close the bracket minus the fracture button of alpha x square over 4. Then come to this place. What's the value of the x we use? That's 2. And if you check, the answer for the first option is 1.38629. The same thing with the words with the question. If you press other options, it's not going to be the same thing. So the only one is what? The option A. So that's the process to solve. Let's get to the next question. Now see this type of question. This one is definite integration. 
You have to find the integration of this, but don't forget, this is definite. You are given limits. So if you want to solve that, let's reset our calculator. So you just press this, press the integration, then come to the top here, we have this space to be 6, then come down here, we have this space to be 2. Then inside this space, we have in the brackets of 3 alpha x plus 4. Close the bracket, press the equals 2. Can you see that the straightforward, the answer is 64. That's it. Now another question says, if sine x is equal to 8 over 17, then we are to find, uh, they say we are, we are to find what tan x. But we are given a condition. The condition says 90 degrees less than x, less than 180 degrees. How will you solve this? The, the first thing you do is that make x the solvent formula. So that will be shift sign, shift sign of what is here. Now shift sign of 8 over 17. What's the answer? That is we we use this equation to find the value of x. And the value of x is 28.07. You don't need to save anything. Just press tan answer. Don't forget what you got before here is our what is our x. And that will be tan x. That that is the previous value we got, which is answer. So press equals to can you see that the answer here is 8 over what? 8 over 15. The answer tan x here is 8 over 15. Now, about 8 over 15, if you get the answer, we have 8 over 15, we have minus 8 over 15. If you pick 8 over 15 here, you are wrong. The reason is because of this condition here. If you check your quadrant, your quadrant is cast. That is, all everything here are positive. What we mean here is that sine is positive in this quadrant. Cos is positive in, at this quadrant. Tan is also positive at this quadrant. But yeah, it's only sign that is positive. Now that shows that at this quadrant, if only sign is positive, that means tan is negative, cos is negative. Now yeah, it's only tan that is positive. That shows that if it's only tan that is positive here, that shows that cos is negative and sign is negative. Yeah, it's only cos that is positive. That shows that sign is negative and tan is also negative. Now, but this quadrant is that x is greater than 90, but x is less than 180. Now, you know that from this place, this place is 0 degree to 90 degree here. This is 180 degree, 270 degree, and you have 360 when it's the rotation, that is the circle. Now, that shows that it's greater than 90. It's only this place that is greater than 90 and less than 180. That shows that the angle falls to this side. And at this side, it is only sign that is positive. And what are we asked to find? Tan. That shows that tan at this place is negative. So that's why the answer, the tan x we got, you just add negative to it because it falls to this quadrant. And at this quadrant, because this is the value of the x, they said x is greater than 90 and lesser than what? 180. That shows that at this quadrant of the x, tan x that we found, it must be what? It must be negative because only this place, at this place, it is only sign that is positive. Tan is what? Is negative. That makes the answer to be what? To be C. Now, in the comment section, let me have the answer to this question. Differentiate the function of y is equal to root 2x plus 5 with respect to x. Now, what is the differentiation? Let us have the answer at the comment section. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now, like, comment, and subscribe. Most especially share for your colleagues to use as well. But let me have the answer to this question at the comment section. God bless you. I wait more videos on calculus and other aspects.